If you're sore, should you skip your leg workout? I would say no, but I wouldn't expect to do the same, you know, everything because the soreness is leaving me in pain and a little bit broken down, right? That's what training is. It's supposed to break you down so that you can grow and then surpass where you were before. So if I have people who come in, uh, a, lot of, a lot of uneducated clients will come in to me, we'll have a hard workout and we'll have another one scheduled for later on. And they might say, I am super sore from my workout. I'm just gonna skip today. That mindset is, I'm trying not to be aggressive here. Uh, that mindset is kind of wimpy. And that isn't the mindset of growth, right? That isn't how the strongest, biggest people think. They think, I'm sore, good. So that's, that's kind of how I start reframing things. Um, if you're worried about you know, doing extra damage or that your body can't handle it, those are mostly myths. So you can, you can set those aside if you can you know, take me for face value and if you trust me yet. Um, I mean, I've made a couple videos here now. Maybe you should understand that I'm looking out for your benefit. I don't know. Um, basically, I would say come into that workout not with the expectation that you're going to do something you've never done before, but just set the expectation that you are the type of person who does work and stays diligent and doesn't give up. So just come in, get it done, and then, you know, eventually you won't be sore again. Your body will accumulate this, uh, this tolerance of stress. <laughs> and you'll grow stronger and you won't even start to notice. Uh, you know, eventually it gets really difficult to become sore because you have to push yourself to such higher intensity levels that uh, it, they're, they're just difficult to maintain, right? So look ahead to the future, good luck. <laughs>